Hi there, um, this is Zifan from Singularity Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to use SS Cloud on HFSS. So first we have to open our models and make sure the setup and everything is correct. So the way we can check that is we can go to simulation and validate our setups. And once you see everything is green, everything is clear, that means your setup is good to go. Now, um, so to launch SS Cloud, we go to the scheduler under the simulation tab. We log into the account. Okay, so um, there's a window prompt up and go ahead and log into the account. Once you log into the account, you can see this scheduler info here. And click OK and let's go to submit our job to the cloud so browse to your um, projects so here once you browse to your projects you can see here you can see all the setup uh, sometimes people have multiple design in one project so you can select which which project uh, which design that you want to run the simulation or you can even choose a single setup in this project so in this case i will choose all setups and in the next tab we can see there's a compute resource here we uh, make sure you have this region here so for me you can pick like east us north central us or west us depends on what region you are using or where you where you located so once you select that here we can select um, different configuration. So small allows you to access one node, eight cores, 56 gigabyte of RAM. Medium, you can access more cores and more RAMs. And large, you can access two nodes and more uh, 32 cores, 448 gigabytes of RAMs. So in this release 2019 R2, um, you can only do up to two nodes, which is large. But in the later, later release, such as um, the new release that coming up soon, 2019R3, you can access more than two nodes. That means you can use more than 32 cores and even more RAM. So you set the percent of limitation for your RAM. And now you can double check all your settings and submit your jobs. So when you submit your job, if your project is if your project is open, it will ask you to close your project to please it. So just hit yes and let it close. Make sure you save your project before you try to do any or try to submit your jobs or anything. So once you can see there's a job submitted successfully and here's, here's your job ID, you can monitor this on your cloud portal or you can monitor it uh, locally. So once you click OK, there's a job monitor windows popping up and here you can see um, the project, the recent jobs, your job status. So it's start monitoring and you have your job ID here. And if you click on the drop down list, you can see many jobs that you have done in the past and if you click into that you can see all the status from the past and another way you can monitor this is click um, the portal button here and this will automatically bring you to the cloud portal so if you sign in Um, then it usually asks you to enter your password, but for me, um, I already entered the password, so it just pop up automatically. Usually, it will first give you this dashboard window. Here, uh, in this dashboard window, you can see all the, the storage you have, and and you can see the number of elastic unit um, left here. 
So it will go ahead click into my jobs. So here you you are able to see all the job you had you have done in the past and the current jobs from the job uh, from the past jobs it gives you the estimate elastic unit usage so from here you can see um, how many elastic unit you have used and here is the mem the storage usage is the is right here and you have all the IDs which can also uh, uh, match to the job monitor in the electronic desktop window. So let's go back to the electronic desktop window. So here you can see it's running. So and here once the job is um, finished, completed, uh, you have a download button here. So if you drop the download button, you can download the results as parameter or the entire file. So this requires you to do it manually. If you check on this auto download result checkbox, um, it will uh, it will automatically download the result once the project is finished. However, you have to leave this um, job monitor window open to perform this auto automation. Um, this automation. Sometimes there will be a bug and the job monitor window may may or may not pop up then you can go to the simulation tab and click on this monitor then it will give you the job monitor window and you can just go ahead and select the jobs that you are running so SS Cloud is created and typically for a large project so let's say if you are using doing a small project that may or may take less than 15 or 20 minutes um, this cloud may not be a good um, options because it usually takes faster for small project to run locally because um, if you do like a bigger project you can submit it to the cloud because it takes a little bit of time to submit in the job and downloading the results um, this is all for today and I have my information below. You can if you have any question or want to try try out SS Cloud, please email me. That's all for today. Thank you.